what we're doing here today is getting a camber adjustment closer to spec on this car here the alignment people couldn't get it because there was no camber bolt in there so we're going to install one of those and then we're going to uh, take one of those uh, inexpensive uh, camber adjusting tools here put it on the brake rotor and go ahead and get it as close as we can when you start this you want to have it on a level surface and that's pretty good and you want to have the wheels as straight as you can fortunately I uh, had the alignment place uh, let me take a picture here where they couldn't get it this is what they uh, were able to achieve without a camber bolt in there and it is a negative 1.9 degrees so almost 2 degrees and so what uh, it should be is um, between one half a degree negative camber and one degree negative camber that would be acceptable uh, this little tool here it'll go and uh, has a magnet on the back that will go on your brake rotor and there happens to be a little rust ridge on there so I'm going to uh, it's not giving me the greatest accuracy so what I'm going to do since I already know that I need to change it accordingly I'm going to uh, put the parking brake on uh, jack the vehicle up uh, put some jack stands under it and uh, block the rear wheels and then when I'm done with that I will uh, remove the wheel here and put the uh, camber bolt in there and then make the adjustment with the uh, little tool there So now that the car is jacked up and uh, supported by jack stands and, and that, the problem we have is this angle uh, changed since we jacked the car up. So on the bottom of these little tools here there's an adjustment knob and I zeroed it out. So I know that I need to go um, at least one and a half degrees positive camber. And what we're going to do is take and remove this top bolt here and loosen this bottom bolt. I'm going to replace the uh, top bolt there with a camber bolt and then we're going to go ahead so a little cam on there and it'll push this steering knuckle in or out while we're tightening it and uh, or moving it and then we'll tighten it up on the top and the bottom once we achieve our uh, angle down below. Okay, I had to move a little bit of the hardware out. Took the old bolt out here and now I have my new one to put in. As you can see there's a little lobe on here and that will push on the top of the steering knuckle since I have the bottom just a little bit loose and it will go ahead and move the top in or out on this. So there is a torque spec on here. It goes by the uh, bolt size and you need to uh, have it oh, that's, um, find what bolt size you have and this one is going to be a hundred foot-pounds. Okay, when you're installing the, the uh, bolt, there's a special washer on here with a little tab. You want that pointing inward and the little tab on the other side will lock into where the strut is. So you want to make sure that's all the way in 
before you start tightening the bolt on the other or the nut on the other side. Okay, now that I have the bolt in here snugged up, now we can go and turn this and hopefully you can see the steering knuckle here moving. We'll zoom in a little bit. And that's where we're going to look at our little tool here and move that bubble accordingly. Okay, hopefully uh, the camera can pick this up here. I do have one degree of positive camber and I had to take and move that tab to the front to uh, achieve that. So next what I'll do is tighten up the bottom of the uh, steering knuckle where it attaches to the strut and then I will go and tighten this one up holding this wrench from turning and then tighten this nut and then I'll finally torque this nut to 100 foot-pounds. This happens to be a European car and the uh, rotor is attached by a bolt here uh, or a screw similar to that like a uh, Honda and some Kias. So uh, if you have a North American car with the lug nuts instead of uh, the bolts you would want to uh, tighten up your rotor run the run the lug nuts down to uh, keep the rotor straight when you're using your little tool here. So now I'll replace the wheel, uh, take it off the uh, jack stand there and remove the blocks in the back and after that I'll take the uh, parking brake off and uh, take it for a test drive. Okay, now that the car is back on the ground Going to uh, double check the uh, torque of the uh, lugs here. This uh, sob happens to be uh, 80 foot pounds, but uh, every car is a little different, so you want to make sure you, you uh, torque your wheel.